I'd like to introduce you to meshing in Flowtherm XT. Flowtherm XT uses an octree based Cartesian mesh. All the cells are rectangular and split from one cell to eight cells as you near the geometry to better resolve the geometry. If we zoom in on a certain area here, we're looking at a cut plot of fluid temperature and a cross section of the fin, and we can see that this fin is being accurately represented with the mesh. And the way Floatrum XT does that is when it encounters a split cell, sorry, a cut cell, something that has both a solid and fluid portions, it subdivides that computational grid cell into any number of control volumes to capture the geometry accurately. What is the process to mesh in Floatrum XT? The mesh is controlled at the system level with a automatic global meshing function and at the object level with um, local mesh. At the system level, you can control the mesh resolution with these three mesh levels. And what that's gonna do is control the mesh size away from the geometry. Now what determines how much, uh, how much mesh is used to represent the future of the geometry is controlled at the component level or the root geometry node and it does that through a minimum feature size and a minimum gap size. As you build the model, Flowtherm XT looks at all the geometry used and determines what is the smallest feature size and smallest gap size associated with each object. And the smallest value is brought up to the root component node and that sets it by default for all pieces of geometry. So then that way Flowtherm XT is going to be able to capture all the features. Now there's going to be areas of the model that we want to add mesh. One common area would be between the fins of a heat sink. Flowtherm XT allows you to control that directly with its narrow channel option. So we activate local mesh have the minimum feature size, minimum gap size set according to the dimensions of the heatsink and activate narrow channel. And that way we can affect the mesh directly in those channels. Other methods of affecting the local mesh are through a region smart part, which I've kind of highlighted here. So in this case, I want to add mesh around that component in the fluid region. So here's my region object. I activate local mesh, tell it to refine fluid cells, and I set a maximum cell size of two millimeters. So that's gonna ensure that I have two millimeter grid cells in that region. Other local mesh controls allows us to um, affect the mesh directly within the solid object or in the partial cells, or those cells that are cut by solid and fluid. And that way we can resolve curved features as accurately as we would like. So Flowtherm XT uses a combination of automatic system level grid and object-based local grid settings. Mm -hmm.